you see me? Yeah, I was going to say, just stand up. Stand up, perfect. This is the Morgan's Meat Parlour. Here we have some sausages. Oh, that's we have so some appetizing, bacon, Piers Morgan. Some mince, some steak. But what this all is, this is produced by great British farmers. And there we go, beautiful British farm. Right? People that I want to protect. What about the animals in here, in these crates here? Who's protecting them? This is meat produced in this country, a country until recently of meat eaters. People who were proud and happy to eat meat. You eat their suffered bodies. Sick. Morgan's meat. Is available today. Well, hang on. How, really, are we in a great position to yeah. just select which animals are sacred for us culturally? What's the difference between eating a pig and eating a dog? And I'm not sure what the answer is to that. Okay, I'm gonna lie. I could lie here all day, but I don't think it's a good idea. <sighs> oh my god, I can't handle this one. <laughs> I, I can't handle your face, that is adorbs. Look at this. Someone loves having their belly scratched. Oh, darling. They're just like dogs, see, look. Look at this, just like a dog, puppy dog, beautiful free pigs. We, we do lay ourselves open, do we not, as a country, mm -hmm. to a charge of utter hypocrisy. Absolutely. Because okay. we have decided dogs are not to be eaten, right? Because it's not our culture to do that. But this is more. But we're than quite that happy is. to eat many other uh, animals, which, by the way, we often farm in appalling conditions. Yes. Right? But... I'm going to go home and cuddle my family's pet dogs, and then I'm going to eat a nice bacon sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what uh, that makes take me. Take that back. I don't know what that makes me. <laughs> what does that make me? Hypocrite. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so look at them sleeping behind me really peacefully in a sanctuary. They've been rescued from people who consume their body parts, people who pay for them to be in gas chambers, people like Pierce Morgan who mock their suffering, people like Pierce Morgan who oppose veganism publicly on TV. Pierce Morgan is defending the abuse that happens to them in slaughterhouses and in gas chambers, and vegans are defending animals. And Pierce likes to make fun of that. There's nothing noble about making fun of the plight of animals. Veganuary, oh no. Meat, meat annuary. <laughs> meat annuary. That just sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm having a big meat annuary. So when you oppose veganism, you are actually defending the abuse of these animals here. That's what you defend, Pierce. You defend abuse to these beautiful animals. You publicly mock their suffering. And look at him. Look at those faces. Can't we all agree that ill treatment of animals, if they're reared for farming, is, is terrible, whatever the animal? Whoever's watching this video, I want you to share it with Pierce Morgan, okay? Hashtag, what is Pierce defending? All right, send him to the website, whatispiercedefending.com. This is what he's defending. This is produced by great British farmers. And there we go, beautiful British farm. 100% humane raised pork. It's disgusting in here. Right? People that I want to protect. What about the animals in here, in these crates here? Who's protecting them? Do you, eat bread? Do you eat bread? Do you eat bread? I eat bread, yeah. Comparing accidental crop deaths with this slavery? To me, there's absolutely no ideological difference between my decision making when I eat my steak and yours when you eat your bread. I want you to tell me the difference. All right, so out here, we've got some root vegetables growing. Here we go. This is where vegans get their food from. Crops. You, you're aware that in the process of, of wheat manufacture and bread making, that 
literally billions of insects get murdered. And Piers Morgan likes to think there's no difference between eating from here and eating from in there. Wow, nice logic, Piers. These, all these animals, you know where they go? All these sow mothers, these are mothers here. They all go to a gas chamber, get hacked up and minced up into sausage rolls. And this guy, Pierce, wants to spit out a vegan sausage roll, but he'd prefer to eat the body, the suffered body of these mothers. Why not just show them the whole process? That and if, would be it, great. if as a result of their knowledge, yep. they decide they want to be vegan, no problem. Living in their own shit, defecating in their own pens. I can't believe people eat out of these sick farms. I've got, I've got four children planet. who all eat me and they thoroughly enjoy it. You eat their suffered bodies. It smells like death in here, like suffering. This is a bacon factory. Most of the bacon people eat come out of places like this. I'm in the UK right now. There's big welts on the side of the animal's um, body. If you can look at these, the, the, these individuals' faces and see the suffering in their eyes, the sadness, it's horrible in here. Look at these little babies. Look at them. Your food had a face. Show Pierce the victim, share this video with him. Or if as the vast majority seem to have done, they make an option to continue eating meat because like me, they like eating meat. Yeah. What is the problem with what they're doing? This is what you defend when you oppose veganism, when you say protect the farmers, when you have your little Morgan's meat stand on Good Morning Britain with the hacked up body parts of these suffered animals. This is exactly what you defend, this. This is a British farm, okay? This is where the majority of pork is coming from. Places like this, exactly like this. I'm here in the UK now. You can bring me on the show right now to talk about what we're seeing in here. These, all these animals, you know where they go? All these sow mothers? These are mothers here. They all go to a gas chamber. Welcome to Tulip Meats, an absolute hellhole. Back here's where the victims are. The victims that Pierce Morgan so openly, proudly condemns to a gas chamber. I've never been happy. Thinks it's real funny. We'll go show Pierce how funny it is. Leave me to my fry up to my steaks. You can already smell feces. Animals defecating on themselves out of fear. Six months old these babies are. Look at this prison-like hellhole here. They get lowered down in a cage, into gas, and they thrash and scream for their lives. And they suffer and die in a gas chamber. So people like Pierce Morgan can eat their body parts and then make fun of their plight on TV. The biggest mass murder in British in food production history is insects murdered to make bread. You ask yourself, Pierce Morgan, is there a moral distinction between this place here and vegans eating bread? It's absolutely sick that in 2019, we still have gas chambers that kill baby animals. When Piers Morgan opposes veganism, this is what he defends. This is for you, Piers Morgan. Listen to their screams, begging for mercy. Listen to them scream for mercy. No one's listening. You're eating fear, violence, terrified, slaughtered animal bodies. <laughs> oh, beautiful animals. I love, I love these animals. I love these animals so much, man. They're so beautiful. How can anyone hurt that beautiful face? No. So Piers Morgan, look at these. You condemn them to slaughterhouses. You publicly mock their suffering. People who were proud, happy to eat meat. 
People like Piers Morgan and others who vehemently oppose veganism defend what you hear behind me. So what do you defend?